sorry about this. Oh, there we go. My, it was a little bit slow there. So um, this is some background to the route. Um, and um, Rupi, can you see that screen, the background sc screen? Yes. Yeah, thank you. Sorry, there must have been a bit of a, a delay there. So um, the background to the route, the graduate route is um, the new work route for those that have a degree or uh, other relevant qualification. And it is very similar to the post-study work route that was phased out in um, 2012. The government hope that the route will allow the UK to retain the brightest and best international students to contribute to society and the economy post-study. And it's also a fantastic opportunity for you all. Um, the route will allow successful applicants the opportunity to stay in the UK and work or look for work for two to three years. Um, sorry, two or three years, depending on your uh, situation. So it's it's related to your qualification. Um, which we will go into in more detail in a minute. Um, the route opened on Thursday, the 1st of July at nine o'clock. Okay, basic eligibility for the route. Um, the route is open to international students who have successfully completed an undergraduate or postgraduate or other relevant qualification in the summer of 2021. Um, generally, for most of our students, for most of you, it will only be undergraduate or postgraduate um, qualifications because we don't tend to offer the other qualifications that are relevant. Um, so, yeah, that would um, apply to yourselves. Um, applicants will need valid student route permission at the time of applying. Um, um, so you must have a valid visa. Um, obviously, we, at the moment with COVID, um, some students have their visas have expired and they have had to apply for exception assurance because they can't travel home. If there are any students in that situation, you may also be able to apply um, and we can um, look at your situation in, in more detail. You can contact Visa Advice and we can discuss it with you. Um, but generally, if you've got student route permission at the time of applying or you've had student route permission um, and um, you've been given exception assurance, that would make you eligible. Um, you can only apply in the UK, you can't apply from your home country. Um, and um, you must meet the relevant period um, that applies to the route. And that is a course of 12 months or less. You must have studied the whole of the course in the UK. A course of 12 months or more, you must have studied in the UK for at least 12 months. Now, for um, students that have been distance learning um, in the home country, um, then there are some concessions that apply to you, um, which I'll go to in more detail. So these are the basic eligibility um, requirements. And then the COVID concessions that I'll go into in a little while will explain um, the situation for distance learners. So don't panic. OK, the qualification that's related to this route, it must be a course, um, the, co the relevant course must be either an undergraduate degree, a master's degree, but not a postgraduate diploma, I'm afraid. Um, it can only be um, a full master's degree, um, a PhD degree or other doctoral qualification or other qualifications not listed here. As I say, all the I will signpost you to all the guidance on this route that will list the other qualifications. but realistically if we're speaking about qualifications that UCB run it will only be an undergraduate degree or a master's degree. The course needs to be completed in your current period of student leave and be the course for which you were assigned a CAS. Um, exceptions um, include if you're allowed to switch course without applying for new student permission, um, if the course provider changes the name of the course without changing the content um, and if your last period of leave granted was for work as a student union sabbatical officer. Um, as long as the re relevant qualification was gained during the period of student leave before it. OK, um, so generally what they're saying is that you, your qualification, the one that your CAS was issued for, so the, the name of the qualification on the CAS, that must be um, the course that we're referring to and it must have been in your current period of student leave. So um, if you studied an undergraduate, um, you know, another qualification that is relevant previously, it wouldn't relate to that. It has to be your current period of student leave and the qualification that is related to that. OK, so as I was saying, um, one of the other um, elements of the eligibility um, is um, the relevant period um, that I mentioned earlier. Um, but there are COVID concessions. Um, obviously, a lot of you haven't been able to 
be in the UK or are transitioning to the UK or, you know, was outside the UK and now in the UK. Um, so these concessions will help, um, you know, with you if you um, if this relates to you. So if your course is more than 12 months and started any time, so any time spent outside the UK between the 24th of January 2020 and the 6th of April 2022, it was previously the 27th of September 2021, but the government have recently extended this time period um, because COVID is still causing travel disruption. Um, so if you were any time spent out of the UK between those dates, it's not counted and will not prevent you from meeting the study in the the UK requirements. OK, there is no official deadline for you to return to the UK, but you must consider your visa expiry date. OK, um, for any courses that started in 2020 or 2021 and uh, were for 12 months or less, um, if you have been distance learning for the whole of your course so far, then you will need to arrive in the UK under the student route by the 27th of September 2021 or by the end of your uh, visa, um, whichever is sooner. If you were in the UK previously, then transition to distance learning from your home country, you just need to return before the end of your current student permission, so before the um, expiry of your visa. Um, Courses that start in autumn 2021 or spring 2022 and are less than 12 months. Um, if you are di distance learning in your home country, you need to come to the UK under the student route by the 6th of April 2022. Now, there is um, a little note at the bottom of this slide, because although that is the guidance set by the UKBI, UCB are intending to return to face to face studying um, from um, autumn 2021 um so and or face-to-face -face straight blended learning so all students are required to be back in the uk um so you can't really um consider uh, that 6th of april 2022 date for courses starting in autumn 21 or spring uh, 2022 um but i don't think that will affect a lot of you anyway i know this is um quite sort of complicated this section and I know a lot of dates um, are discussed um, so if any of you need any me going to go over this in more detail uh, we can do so in the chat or you can email me separately on visa advice um, and as I say I will give you those contacts at the end um, but basically they're saying that um, you know if you've been out the UK there are some concessions for you and it shouldn't prevent you from um, applying for the student um, for the graduate route OK, so money, fees and the knowledge of English. So there is no requirement to show any maintenance for this route. Um, unlike the tier four, as it was now the student route, um, you have often had to show maintenance um, as part of your visa application. So there's no requirement for that for this route. However, um, if you've previously been sponsored for your tuition fees and living costs for your um, course that you've completing or have completed, you must provide a letter of consent from your sponsor consenting to your application under the graduate route. The application fee will be £700. Um, the immigration house surcharge is £624 per year. Um, and there is no requirement to prove your level of English as your completion of your qualification will do this. Um, as we've already most um, so um, as we've already mentioned um, regarding the process to apply, applications opened at 9 a.m. on the 1st of July. Um, the applications are student led, um, so we won't be helping you make the application um, like we have done in the past for any sort of tier four or student route applications. So you will be making the application yourselves. Um, you can only apply if, just going over the basic requirements again, you are in the UK, you have a valid student route permission or have been um, given or granted exceptional assurance, um, you have successfully completed a relevant course for which your CAS was assigned. Um, you have been, um, um, also you can only apply if you've been notified by the compliance department that your result has been reported to the Home Office. Um, please do not request this information or make an application before being notified, because if you do, your application will be refused. Um, obviously, with you completing your course, exams um, 
making these results official, um, we need a little bit of time to report those um, results to the Home Office. This is the Home Office's requirements of us. So we need a little time to do that. Once we've done that, we will send you an email um, to notify you of your CAS number, um, that your results have been notified and that you can now make an application. I hope that's clear. OK, um, if you've not heard within a week of your results being published on your portal, please contact visa advice at ucb.ac.uk um, because um, we can look into that for you. You know, um, sometimes there are errors, um, but we're quite confident that we will be reporting everyone um, in time. OK, other considerations. Um, so when you're thinking about applying for this route, um, because you can only apply once, and there's no extension to it. It's really important that you think about, is it a right time for you to apply? You know, if you've just completed an undergraduate course, is, you know, is it a right time to apply now or would it be better doing it after a master's course, for instance? Um, considerations of, um, you know, the factors that you have got to consider and consider. If you're outside the UK, travelling to the UK under the COVID restrictions, you know, is there going to be possible delays for you? Is it going to be very expensive with um, quarantine um, and any sort of, you know, personal worry with COVID and travel. Um, so you do need to take that into consideration. Also, if um, as part of the route, um, it allows you to look for work or work in the UK. So, um, you know, it gives you the opportunity to search for a job. So you need to have money to support yourself during your stay. You know, you've got to be able to um, make sure that if you find work, then, you know, that a company with any money savings that you have can support yourself uh, or if you don't find work that you're going to have the funds there to support yourself there won't be any access to public funds um, also how feasible is it to find a job at the moment in the current climate um, you know there are jobs around I've um, seen them advertised myself um, you know low skilled jobs high skilled jobs um, so there are jobs around but it's worth probably linking in with hired um, at UCB or Unitemps um, just to perhaps see you know um what the opportunities are um at the moment they might be able to give you a better idea okay so dependents um so um if you have um, a partner and child who is currently in the UK uh, with you as a dependent under your student permission they can apply under the graduate route with you OK, if you have a partner or a child who is outside of the UK, they can um, they cannot apply and um, they must first apply under the student route if eligible to come to the UK. And then uh, once in the UK, they can then apply under the graduate route as a dependent. Any child who applies must have both parents in the UK and the parents must be applying at the same time already or already have permission. OK. Your conditions. Um, once you have applied, you should not travel until you've received a decision. To do so automatically withdraws your application. Um, so after you've completed your qualification, you're obviously fine to travel um, as any student. But once you've decided to make an application for the graduate route or any other visa application, you shouldn't travel out of the country because it withdraws your application. Whilst you're awaiting a decision, you can continue to work. You should follow any conditions or restrictions related to your last period of leave until you have received a decision. OK. Um, you do not require sponsorship by the employer, but employers will be new to the scheme and may need signposting to the guidance. Self-employed work is permitted once permission has been granted, but you should also refer to the guidance on this. So you can't work for yourself whilst you're waiting a decision. It's only once you've been um, permission has been granted. Um, and study is permitted, but it is restricted to courses that couldn't be studied on the student route. So any courses that you could normally study on the student route won't be permitted under this, um, this uh, graduate immigration route. OK, so alternatives to the graduate route, um, obviously further study, which I touched on earlier. Um, you know, you may um, want to think about doing a higher level qualification before you apply for the graduate route. Um, there's also the skilled worker route. Um, time on that route counts towards settlement, um, which is obviously um, important to some. 
Um, employers um, may also help with the costs of your um, application for the skilled worker route. Um, but you do need a sponsor, uh, an employer with a sponsor license. Another route is the startup route. Um, there are obviously more progression opportunities for that. It does require monitoring and endorsement um, and time on the route does not count towards settlement. So after the graduate route, what next? Um, as I said earlier, you can't extend the graduate route, so there's no extension of that route. Um, you could switch to a skilled worker route, tier two, which was previously tier two. Um, you could switch into a, sp a spouse, partner or family route as a dependent, um, or you could switch back into the student route. OK, so um, there is some further information here. Um, this uh, the government guidance has recently um, been published, so that is the link towards that. Um, to that, I know it's quite long. Um, we will be providing both the um, hard copy of this presentation and also. The